Guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So Zach Rosenblatt from The Athletic just did an article yesterday really talking about his 53-man roster predictions for the New York Jets going through position by position. And uh, of course, I'll leave it linked down below in the description box. One thing that I found really interesting was when talking about the wide receivers, a name that was left out was Denzel Mims. Now, Denzel Mims is a guy who obviously highly productive at Baylor, a guy who has a lot of physical attributes, a lot of things to like about what he can be at the NFL level, made some plays this rookie season. And really since then, since Mike LaFleur and Salah took over, we just never really saw it come to fruition on the field, right? On Sundays, it was just, you know, hard to see playing time. There was a bunch of weird rumors coming out you know, from Mike LaFleur at the time saying that he wanted uh, Denzel Mims to feel comfortable playing every single wide receiver position, uh, some special teams rumors uh, as well. But it's looking like Denzel Mims this season could, you know, act, this could be the, the off season where Denzel Mims finds himself on another team. And part of the reason why, of course, is we're looking at the wide receiver depth chart. We're, we have five guy, five guys that are not going to be going anywhere. Alan Lazard, Garrett Wilson, Randall Cobb, McCall Hardman, Corey Davis. And of course, there is a lot of talk right now surrounding Corey Davis. You know, will the Jets ask him to take a pay cut? Will they restructure his contract, push more money into the future? I, there was a big uh, question mark early on. Will the Jets uh, trade him, right? Will he be included in the Aaron Rodgers trade? Uh, you know, all these different questions surrounding Corey Davis. But what is, you know, to, it, late June here, early July, I feel like if the Jets were going to cut him, they would have done it already. Also, we have the reassurance from Robert Sala in uh, multiple press conferences backing Corey Davis saying he is going to be on the roster. So, you know, I, I could see a contract restructure, but as far as a release goes uh, or even a potential trade, unless Joe Douglas is blown away by a deal, it, it really... Personally, I get the feel that the Jets want to retain Corey Davis. So that's five players. So we're really only looking at one more open spot. And Rosenblatt here actually has uh, undrafted rookie Jason Brownlee from Southern Miss making the 53. And Brownlee's a guy who's really making a name for himself with the Jets so far. He's supposedly turning heads. He's standing out. He's doing a great, great job. And obviously he presents a lot of size. Coming in at six foot three, 200 plus pounds. Uh, has special teams experience as well, uh, as Rosenblatt pointed out. So, you know, you, you take a look at, and of course, you know, factoring in the money situation, which by the way, Brownlee was uh, given the highest amount of guaranteed money out of all the undrafted free agents, upwards of 200K. So we're looking at all these different, um, you know, uh, indicators here. And there's, you know, and of course, factoring in year after year, the Denzel Mims rumors and him fitting the offense and the, this and that, this and that. Again, this offseason really feels like it could be the one where we see Denzel wind up on a new squad. But I'll say this, even though I really like Denzel and I wish it worked out and I wish he could have turned into the team's number one or number two wide receiver. I mean, I remember uh, when the Jets drafted him, I was so excited, so excited. And I still, you know, I, I know it's not the most popular thing to say right, you know, right now, but I think if he winds up on a team with a coaching staff that can utilize a skill set, get onto a roster with a bunch of new faces, uh, you know, schemes different, the coaches are different, the personnel around him is different. Uh, because there is, you know, I'm not writing Denzel Mims off as, you know, this uh, horrendous draft bust that, is, that should be out of the league. You know, I have seen Mims made some, make some plays. So I, I do think this actually could just be a blessing in disguise for him because let's just say he does make the team. What are the chances of, of course, you know, we have to factor in the injuries as well, but what are the chances of him leapfrogging Alan Lazard, leapfrogging Corey Davis, leapfrogging uh, Garrett Wilson at this point? I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't really see it working out like that, given what we've seen so far. So I think Mims could definitely, again, make an impact with another team. I'm going to be following him for sure. I'm going to be rooting for him, hoping for nothing but the best. And, you know, no matter what happens, whether he's on the Jets, whether he gets traded, whether he gets released and gets scooped up uh, somewhere else, um, I'm going to be pulling for him. I'm going to be pulling for him. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What's your take on the uh, number one, the wide receiving room? And then number two, the last, again, we have those five spots pretty much secured, but the thoughts on the last one and, you know, who knows, maybe it's 
Maybe it's somebody who gets released, uh, like a veteran that doesn't make the team. Maybe it's a you know a cap casualty, somebody that we see get released, uh, you know, around training camp. Every single year, there's bigger name players that all of a sudden get moved. Uh, maybe it's somebody that's currently on an, uh, on another team right now, and he gets waived in camp. All of a sudden, the Jets make a move. We add a wide receiver uh, to the mix. I, I, I don't want to say that the Jets are the favorite for you know for DeAndre Hopkins. You know, obviously, New England, Tennessee, Cleveland has been making some noise as of late. Uh, Buffalo, of course, is still being talked about with uh, with D Hop. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.